But rookie May camp wrapped up, and mm-hmm. I want to know. So we've had so a lot. A lot of the local news reporters have pretty much said, "Oh man, like Jared Wiley's tearing it up. This guy looks like he could be the next guy." We've talked about the whole the next Kelsey kind of thing. Yeah. But how, how much stock do you put into it? Obviously, he tore it up. I mean, that's great. He tore it up during rookie minicamp. But that is great, uh, rather than the, the opposite. And I, I didn't like uh, Saturday when Z- Xavier Worthy, I know it was media time. They only get like 15 minutes in the beginning, and then they get out of there. But they yeah. were posting his his videos of his catches. And I only saw mm-hmm. one clip of his of, of, of the one catch that he had. because All the clips I saw were just him drops, just him dropping it. I was like, all right, guys. And I saw I found the one clip of him catching it. So I shared it on our channel. Like, all right, let's 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 prop this one up. Let's not yeah. share around the drops here. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, it's drills. Guys they catch a million balls during practice. You're gonna have a drop here and there uh during practice. But uh how much stock do you put into uh rookie minicamp when it comes to when you hear reports of oh he looked amazing, oh he looked awful? Like, how much stock do you put into it? I mean, it, this is the first look that everybody has a, a chance to put their eyes on on guys. And so you ought to look amazing. I mean, this is like you're trying to get what you pay for, right? And so are you uh, as advertised, okay? So they want to see Xavier Worthy speed, okay? His change of direction. Can he catch the football? Can he get deep? Like all those different things they want to be able to see. And, I, and, and from what I've heard, he put that all on display. And like you said, some of the balls that everybody's looking at. And, and, and sometimes you don't want to get in because guys are going to be pressured. You know, it's a whole different thing. Ricky Camp is a whole different deal when all the – all the guys, the main guys get back. Uh, but yeah, you want to you want to see all that. Jared Wiley, uh, same thing with him. Like he he's supposed to go out there and explode. He's supposed to be that guy. I I love that aspect of it of showing what you can do. Uh, if you can look pretty, this is the time to do it. When you're not in all your full pads, we said this, man. Like if, if you can't be a superstar without your pads on, flying around, uh, then we got the wrong guys. We got the absolute wrong guys, but uh, for for us, uh, I think we got the right ones. I think we got the right ones. And, and of course, these things about this is, you know, they're going to learn from all the, you know, the veterans that come in how to do things, how to operate, how to practice. And this is a, it's a totally different thing from college to pros. And so uh, that stuff will still be, you know, we still have to wait till all of that pans out because when you got, Shoot, Patrick Mahomes throwing the ball to you. Or you're watching Travis Kelsey, the things that he's doing. Uh, it's a little bit different. Same thing defensively. When you're going against these guys, Jerry Wiley, when he goes against Nick Bolton and all those, it's going to be a different animal, right? And George Kalopkis and, you know, that's a little bit different. And and like and it's the way it's supposed to be. So it's good. I'm going to put stock in it because you, you're supposed to show what you can do while we got you here, right? You're supposed to be impressed, okay? Uh, that's why these guys got drafted. So that, I, I do I put some stock in that for sure, absolutely. Now, when you come in, you start comparing it to like guys. Like I said, when the vets get here, different thing. Not to mention pads on too. So you kind of alluded to it a little bit. It's not a lot of contact in these camps. So every, everyone's talking about, oh man, there's the clips of uh, uh, the the what's it, Zamet, the um, the dude from the rugby player of him yeah. Um, yeah. of of him um, catching returns, the punts and the kick returns and stuff. I probably. Obviously, a jugs machine, you know. But come on, guys, you, you can't ba- you can't base on that. Oh, he could be your e-return man. Like, let's let's get the contact going here. Let, let's let's get the games be everything coming with this whole thing because we still don't know what he can do. And I, 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 you know, call me a pessimist with this whole thing, JD. I, I know it's a great story, but again, it's just there's too much hype a- around it, and it's like I would love for it to work out, but at the end of the day, uh, well, I, I tell you what. Well, I'll say this, uh, you know, and I've seen that and Andy wants to encourage, right? Because he knows he has a long way to go. But like I said, he wants to see his speed. Okay. We want to see you catch the ball. We want to see you run with the ball. And so Andy said, it's a little bit different because you have a bigger ball in rugby than it is in, you know, American football. And so he's getting used to those things, running with the ball, holding it a particular way, you know, the, the, you know, the five points you want to hold it with. Um, all those things are, uh, um, uh, you know, surprising new things are good to see. So Andy is encouraged by that, right? He, we want to see his speed. That's what we want to see. We are you as advertised? We can't have you come in and everybody saying you're running a four, 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 whatever it is, and have the fastest, you know, speed on on the field, whatever it is, and we don't see it displayed. 
So I don't care if you have the ball in your hand or not. Go, right? So catch it. Go, go, go. So I think it's going to be exciting when we get out there and we actually see him, like I said, with pads and whatnot on. That's when you can really gauge where everybody's at. Okay. And it's still going to be somewhat of a, a, you know, learning curve, but they'll get it. They'll get it. Football is football. Okay. And and I, I think these guys, like I said, I think we got it all right. So um, it, it's kind of, okay, Lewis, you know, I love you, buddy. It's comments like that. I'd rather trust Zaman over K Tony. Well, first off, we never see Tony returning kicks. He was, he was the punt return guy and he, and he has one of the longest punt returns. And I think the longest punt return in Super Bowl history. So, if we're, we're talking about a guy who's never done a return in an NFL game, how can you trust a guy who we have zero like background information on? That that's where it's like, okay, let's let's pump the brakes with that with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, everybody's down on uh, Kadarius Tony right now, right? And so we, we're gonna have comments like that. Lewis, I, look, I get I get that, you know, saying you know, so Zamet, we've given chances and opportunity to Kadarius Tony, and so Lewis is probably just uh, uh, expressing. Uh, that feel, but yeah, I, I Kadarius Tony without a doubt has is much more uh, uh, of a, a returner than Zambit is. So, and I will say, I do think we are going to give exact. I think with Tony not being the number one guy anymore going into the season, I think we will see Tony kind of doing what you know, being more of a being more of a specialist kind of guy. We'll probably see him more in the punt return role or kick return role, even uh, now. So now he's not the focal point as far as our number one weapon on, on offense as a receiver. So I think we'll see him more in that role um, this year. So, Okay. So GND one, uh, 111, rugby guys handled the ball 40 minutes, half, probably 50 times to take 40 hits. They got hands, bet that. Yeah, I don't I don't question his hands at all. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I'll, I'll take your – I'll take what you just said and I'll, I'll, I'll put it together what Charles Driver just said. Everyone looks good until the first hard tackle. After that is how you get up to see how good you are. Sure. That, that's that that's the explosion. That's what it is. That's the explosion. So man, hey, we'll 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 definitely see. I think Zamic can handle the hits. I don't I don't question him getting hit at all. Uh it's a different thing, man. When you know we get you got pads and stuff on because then you can really lay out into a body and, and, and legs and stuff, man. But I, I, he'll be fine as far as the physical part of it. Uh, I think it's going to be all right. Uh, we got, we got, there we go. There we go. We got some, we got some KT love in here. You got a, a Jeff with uh, KT's going, going off this year. Okay. I, I'm down with that. Because at this point, he's going to be our number three receiver, number three or number four. If he's going off at number three or number four, teams are going to have fits this year. So I, I do love that. Yeah. I think, I think KT is going to do a, a, a decent job for us. And so – Depth chart wise, uh, like you said, not he don't have all the pressure on him to be the guy. Uh, if he's healthy, uh, we've seen what he's been able to do. We we know his athletic ability. You know how he can make guys miss. I mean, that Joker can cut, he can move, he can do all the things. He got he got everything in his bag. He's able to do. Uh, what we just worry about for him is just durability. That's it. It's durability. So uh, still remains to be seen. We'll 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 see though when it comes down. We'll see. So, hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.